Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, many of you have written me. Apparently, there's a lot more interest than I thought in this Gennady Golovkin versus Willie Monroe Jr. fight. Monroe Jr. is a southpaw who's a little bit unorthodox in the ring. He throws a great jab. He doesn't have a lot of power. Right? In my opinion, Gennady Golovkin should win this fight. I'm expecting a knockout. Right? Let's talk about how to beat Gennady Golovkin. I believe there are certain things you have to do. I believe the blueprint is on film. I would encourage folks to go back a few years and look at his film against Kasim Uma. Right? I believe the current fighter who would probably give Golovkin all kinds of trouble would be Miguel Cotto. If you want to venture a little bit outside of his weight class, it would be Andre Ward and Bernard Hopkins. Right? To beat Golovkin, the first rule, I think, is to keep it in the middle of the ring. I know Golovkin's a big puncher. No question about it. But Golovkin is most effective when you end up by the ropes, isn't he? Think about how that Daniel Gill fight ended. Think about the Ishida fight. Think about the Matthew Macklin fight. Think about the Marco Antonio Rubio fight. So you want to keep this in the middle of the ring. Let's talk spacing. Golovkin needs a little bit of room to operate. Right? So you don't want to be at long range. Understand, Golovkin has great ring coverage. He can throw power shots from distance, just like David Hay, just like Vladimir Klitschko. Right? So you want to be in the middle of the ring. Spacing-wise, you don't want to be at long range. You don't want to be at mid-range. You want to be at short range. Right? Kasim Uma gets up under Golovkin. Starts ripping punches to Golovkin's body. Right? Force Golovkin to have to deal with volume right up on his rib cage. That's where you want to be. Right? Only fighters with serious inside games. Omar Figueroa's style, right, would work against Golovkin. Andre Ward when he comes inside. Bernard Hopkins when he has his head down and he's just running inside. I believe that's the style that works on Jadadi Golovkin. You also need to be low, right? If you're a taller fighter, you need to know how to bend at the waist. You need a bend. You can't be upright. You need to fight small. Right? Let me say too, you want to force Golovkin who doesn't like to clinch. Keep in mind, he's a hunter, not the hunted. You want to force him to have to try to clinch. To tie you up when you get up under him. Right? You want to keep him busy in having to defend himself. Right? You don't want him thinking about where he's going to place his next punch. You need to have him responding to you on the inside. Right? You have to be adept inside. You have to be adept low. Right? You have to force the issue. Have enough volume where he's trying to deal with your volume, right? To me, that's not Willie Monroe Jr. Styles make fights. I understand this guy has only lost to one fighter. And of course, that fighter, it should be mentioned, seems to be America's best opponent, right? It's Darnell Boone, the guy who dropped Andre Ward, the guy who beat Adonis Stevenson. Believe it or not, that Darnell Boone is the one guy to beat Willie Monroe Jr., right? 
in in my opinion, Monroe is going to try to work behind a jab. Monroe is the kind of guy who likes to work at mid-range and long-range. Exactly where you don't want to be against Gennady Golovkin. You know, Ishida has a pretty good jab. The jab didn't matter against Golovkin because Golovkin stays outside. He's not bothered by a jab. He waits for his entry point. You're pumping a jab. He's just outside avoiding the jab. I don't believe Willie Monroe can land that jab moving backwards. I believe it's a jab he only is able to land standing around the pocket. In the Brian Verified, Willie Monroe found himself on the side of the ring several times. Exactly where you don't want to be against Gennady Golovkin. Look at his defense. The angles change too much. One of the secrets to Floyd Mayweather is Floyd Mayweather is always showing you the same angles. Right? Not a lot of movement. He has a hand up. You can't get around it. Right? He has his head tucked behind his shoulder. It's there. You can't get around it. To me, Willie Monroe Jr. is moving too much. He's jabbing too much. Understand, a jab is a countering opportunity for guys who know how to pull it off. I believe Golovkin will be able to just wait for Monroe to throw his jab, and then we'll be able to step inside with a big punch. Monroe's not blessed defensively. There are always things to hit. In looking at films, it looks to me like the top of his head's available. Isn't that how Golovkin took out Rubio? It looks to me like his right hand is awfully low. So I'm expecting Monroe to make every mistake imaginable against Golovkin. I'm expecting him early to find himself up against the ropes. Right? I'm expecting him to find himself at mid to long range against a puncher who likes to throw at mid to long range. I don't think Monroe is the kind of guy who likes to come inside low and stay inside. I think he's going to be in Golovkin's hot zone. I think Golovkin's going to be able to extend his arms. I think Monroe is going to be more upright than low. Right? I think Monroe's going to be the one trying to clinch, not Golovkin. I'll be surprised, and I know Monroe's never been stopped. I personally will be surprised if this fight makes it to the ninth round. I like Golovkin by KO here. I'm not even going to hedge the play. Right? I think Monroe looks like he could give some fighters a hard time. I just don't think his style matches up at all with Golovkin's. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.